Hello YouTube, it's me Justin, January 20th, 2018. Um, wanted to do a topic again about the government shutdown, but I'm kind of thinking outside of the box. What most um, people, sheeple or whatever, would say right-wing conspiracy. Um, anyways, with this government shutdown, which is totally um, bullshit, like I said in the, the other video, I want to know exactly what the agenda is, you know, with this, these globalist elite, this Chuck Schumer, which I cannot stand, just looking at the man, he's just one of those people you just want to walk up to and just punch him right in the side of the neck, he's a creepy pedophile looking freak, but anyways, to see him up there acting like he didn't want this uh, government shut down, he has this compassion, he, he's a, he's freaking demonic satanic freaking whack job but um anyways with all these uh false alarms and all the crazy stuff that's been going on lately um you know hawaii japan and north carolina had that false alarm at a uh, nuclear power plant you know wh what exactly is their i know what their end goal is you know a one world government New World Order, so to speak, um, and they're so pissed off that they're they lost the White House, and how convenient to go ahead and shut down the government on the one-year anniversary of Trump's inauguration. Um, going back to the the DACA deal, which wasn't even supposed to be, you know, on the table till March. I mean, it was you know wasn't a number one priority. Um, but I started thinking outside of the box of with the the globalist elite, you know, the Soros and all that corruption. And like I said, 2018 is going to be a wild ride, and it's already showing its ugly face. Um, but you know, a hundred thousand military active, well, in training. Um, and I believe it was Oklahoma. I thought at first I thought it was fifty thousand. Now I heard it's up to 100,000 that are being sent home. Basically, sorry, we can't house you, we can't feed you, we can't train you because we don't have the funds right now. So they're sending over 100,000 um, future potential uh, soldiers home because, well, the government shut down, we can't train you. That's bullshit. It's asinine. And when it comes to these first responders, you know, it's hard enough for a lot of uh, the police officers um, to do the job that they do while they're getting paid. Now they're going to have to do it for free. Um, and military risking their lives and, and military families, you know, that rely on that check. They're overseas. And if you, if you honestly believe that it's Donald Trump's fault that this... Uh, government shutdown happen, then you're being misled by the far left as well. You know, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. 90% of the Democratic Party voted for the government shutdown. 90% of the Republicans voted against it. Like I said, there are some Republicans that are laid up in bed with these far left liberals. So, but it's just, you know, that we the people... That means nothing. That don't mean shit anymore. It's these suits and ties that are controlling our lives. You know, they're, that have, it's, it has nothing to do with their, the voice of the people. You know, write your local congressman and all that. What do they use that? Those letters never show up on their desk. And if they do, they don't give a damn. They're running things the way they want to run them. They don't care about the American people. So... Is it time to start a revolution? Time will tell. So, anyhow, um, it's just, it's a shame, and I'm thinking outside of the box. What's the, I know what the end goal is with these elitist one world government freaks. Um, but they're making us so vulnerable. How long are these active military and police officers, first responders, gonna work for free, so to speak. 
you know, they're talking three weeks and possibly longer. I know 2013 we had a government shutdown, but it wasn't as vital. And right now we're on the brink of nuclear war with North Korea slash China. Um, China's the, the big, uh, you know, as far as I'm concerned, this is all about China, not North Korea. North Korea is a simple puppet on a string to antagonize us, to get us to to jump so they can go ahead and unleash uh, World War Three, you know. Anyways, in a biblical aspect, you know, end days are near, so that's the way I look at it. But, um, yeah, what's the end goal? It's thinking outside of the box. You know, um, far left's extremely embarrassed that they lost the White House. So they're doing they're throwing everything at Trump. Dossier, Russian collusion. Oh, you know, you name it. And is you know, but this is just another smack in the face. Um but anyways, I want your comments, uh what are your beliefs? Um I know I'm gonna have some trolls leave your stupid comments and that's fine with me, I don't care. But they, something is over the horizon because we can only, if we go three weeks, four weeks, even longer with a government shutdown, that's going to make us even more vulnerable, extremely vulnerable for attack. So, anyways, I smell a revolution on the horizon. So, it'll be time to take back our America. Anyways, to everybody out there, stay safe. Um, fear no man. Never fear death. Get right with God. Fight the good fight. Stay locked and loaded, 100%. Anyways, wish everybody luck. Stay safe. Leave some comments. I want to know what you think. Later.